is get here with the new Toshiba OCZ TR200. That's right, today built with the latest technology, the 64 layer 3D BICS flash memory, Toshiba has been a leader in the SSD chip making uh, space, for example, when it comes to the NAND flash technology. They were the original uh, makers. And this one here, the 480 gigabyte model that I've got today, I'm going to be using that to upgrade a laptop. Why not? This is a value uh, edition uh, series of SSDs that Toshiba has to offer. Uh, cost effective, of course, using the latest technology. And we're going to slap that in this uh, laptop that I'm going to show you in just a second. Whether you're using a Windows or a Mac, it doesn't matter. Uh, previously, I've reviewed upgrading Windows. Uh, laptops and PCs. Today I'm going to use a Mac. Why not? So we're going to open up this puppy here, show you the SSD. Of course, you know, it depends on the laptop that you've got, how you would open it up and upgrade it. But then again, instructions are provided in the box, as you can see here on laptop application as opposed to desktop application installations. So you've got some information in there, but I mean, it's trivial. It's not that hard to upgrade, right? If you've got an existing laptop, Again, doesn't matter if it's a PC or a MacBook. Um, the process is very, very similar, okay? It varies a little bit depending on how old your laptop is and, you know, opening it up and accessing the old hard drive that's in there, um, you know, might be easy or might be a little bit more, you know, challenging depending on the model. But this one here, 480 gigabytes is more than enough space to get you up and running with the latest operating systems and you're gonna really notice the speed difference with this value SSD. Now, standard SSD drive, this has a nice metallic aluminum finish on the housing there. It's got the appropriate screws um, so that you can install it in your laptop. Again, this is the standard uh, for the uh, installation as opposed to an old um, 2.5 inch hard drive. So you're still gonna be able to replace that old hard drive because everything is matching. You just need to make sure that you have the right tools, of course, to access and remove the old hard drive. I've got my tools right here, the uh, screwdrivers, of course. And um, once you've got your tool set ready to go, then it's just a matter of planning and now, uh, you know, disconnecting your old uh, laptop from the power, remove the uh, battery, and uh, get on to uh, taking out those screws, basically, that uh, are holding back uh, you upgrading your old laptop. Why not? So I've got a laptop here. Again, like I said, it's an older MacBook. Uh, came with, uh, you know, an old, really slow Hitachi a hard drive. Horrible thing. Uh, you know, you're not really getting any speed at all on, on these laptops uh, that are, like, uh, uh, pretty, pretty old. And when I mean old, I mean, like, anywhere between... Uh, three and, and five years uh, of age, you know, those those older laptops come with a, with an older hard drive such as this Hitachi one that I mentioned right here. So, you know, you really want to, um, to upgrade this and I tell you, it's going to be night and day comparison uh, when you when you install it. So I'm using the screws that were attached to that Hitachi hard drive. I just took it out and I attached these screws onto the new TR200 SSD because it comes standard with the right size holes, so that way you can just replace it. Same, same uh, SATA plug, so you don't have to worry about the connections. It's going to work. And um, and then, of course, I attach the connector here. And again, depending on your laptop, the connector will look a little bit different. But at the end of the day, it's going to plug in no problem into the standard SATA connector that you have on the TR200. So there you have it. I uh, attach it, slide it into place, lock it in there, and now just put back the screws, right? Install it back. The screws that were already attached to the old hard drive, I just reuse those and just install them quickly, put them back in there, and then we're good to go. Now, of course, I'm going to put the lid back on, attach the power connector, and then boot up. Now, as you can see here, I have installed the hard drive in this Mac OS system and uh, it appears and shows it right there, no problems. I installed the latest OS, the High Sierra on there, did some Geek Benchmark score test to see how it compared um, in the single core and multi-core scores. It's all relative because the SSD is actually helping boost these scores because the input and output times are actually much, much shorter now. So when I compare that to online results, my, uh, MacBook here gave me a, a result comparable to an Intel Core i7 MacBook Pro, and uh, I'm actually running an Intel Core i5, so 
you know, that, that kind of uh, makes sense, uh, especially with the multi-core results here. But really what we're looking at are the hard drive scores. How well does this perform, let's just say, in a video rendering test. So the Blackmagic Disk Speed Test does that. And you can see here the read and the write results that it got really high performance uh, on basically dealing with different formats of video files and uh, editing those using video editing software that the Blackmagic software folks have to provide. And they, they did some tests and uh, benchmarks based on uh, this TR200 and you can see here the results that it's getting very fast uh, results as you can see there in the megabytes per second 378.7 at the top there 419.7 megabytes per second again these are really fast results compared to what you would get on the regular Hitachi hard drive that came with this which is like a fraction of this so it's night and day terrific results definitely recommend you guys take a look and see if you need a boost in your boot up times rendering you know hard drive processing input output speeds are going to be really high as opposed to what you got before with an older standard hard drive i'll add the link below if you're interested in purchasing this drive i'd like to thank toshiba occ for providing it comment below let me know what you think and again thank you for watching <music>